Hi, I'm a music therapist and I have been working in hospice care for the last almost 10 years and I can tell you that visual and auditory hallucinations are a normal part of the dying experience. Now, a lot of times, end-of-life practitioners uh, and medical professionals prefer to refer to these hallucinations as end-of-life visions. Because hallucinations have a negative connotation or a scary connotation, and oftentimes these visions are not scary at all. Just like what I was describing, the woman in this last video, she was having a vision that she was seeing a very young, handsome gentleman. An end-of-life visioning tends to be quite comforting in a way. Many times our patients are seeing visions of their deceased relatives or even a childhood pet. But overall, they're considered a very normal experience of the dying process. And it doesn't matter what I think those visions are, if they are real or not, in the end, who am I to judge that experience? But instead, I want to make sure that the patient is comfortable. If the experience of end-of-life visioning is not disturbing them, then what I must do is just provide that validation, enter their worldview, and, and say, hey, that's awesome. <laughs> However, if the experience of end-of-life visioning happens to be disturbing the patient, it's important to let their case manager nurse know about the situation. And in the meantime, I can also implement some validation techniques. Again, entering their worldview and asking that gentleman if he's bothering her to please step away or shoo him away or something along those lines. In the end, it's all about dignity, respect, validation, comfort, and quality of life.